Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Great punch landed with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. It's on the elbow. Huge block there. Just a slip there. Big knee lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, 
Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Punch over the top. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lee gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Out of range with that kick attempt. And both guys really throwing with authority. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Just misses with the right. Big head kick lands. Well, he continues to find the... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. Beautiful leg kick thrown. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lands with the right hand. Clinch position, the underhook is going to be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. The guard lands the right hand. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity that. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, single power tie now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Second round underway. kick now that one's no good
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. That was a thudding leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All single collar tie here. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver. Looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has- And this might just be a matter of time. Full side control now. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. And that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. Great job out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're going to continue. Keep doing exactly what you did. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool.
your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready, fight. Ready. Go. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent oh. can take. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. hip into that kick. Nice leg kick land. Nice. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Got the single collar tie. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Misses with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful punch. for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. There is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud 